Hi everybody. I am so happy to see you today. Today I will be sharing with you how to draw a very colorful toucan. So I highly recommend that you draw using a pencil first in case you need to erase in any mistakes. The reason I am using my marker is so you can see my lines from far away. Okay? All right. So step number one is to turn your page vertically, nice and tall. It doesn't have to be long this round. We really want to be drawing with a nice vertical page, a tall composition, okay? Step number one is near to draw near the middle of your page up a bit high. We want to draw a small circle. It looks like a button that my pointer finger can press to the top in the middle, a little above the middle. The middle's like here. So a bit higher, I'm drawing a small circle and I'll add one more circle inside. So it looks like a donut or a Cheerio or something, okay? After you have those two circles, draw a slightly curved line above that goes past that eye. Yes, this is the toucan's eye that we started with and draw a slightly curved line towards the top of your page. Don't draw it straight, try to draw it slightly curved. There are two choices for what to do next. We had the eye, we had the circle for its pupil, we drew the curve and another curved line towards the top. When we draw the beak, if you keep, I know it looks weird right now, the lines together, your toucan's mouth will be closed. If you want the beak to be open, I'll show you what to do. On the top, connect one part. And if you want an open beak, just curve another line and pull another curved triangle shape out. My toucan will have an open beak but yours could be closed as well. And it does look quite mysterious to have the eye and the beak, but nothing else. That is okay for now. Watch what we do next. We're curving a light, light, a slight amount of a curve. Curve down a little bit. Whoosh. Again, how I drew that was I curved a little amount downwards. Ooh, that is very shiny. Okay, from there, everybody, we are going to do the next step. So take an extra little amount of time if you need to. I'm going to draw the eye a little bit different on the middle there. And I'm drawing like a J shape down, okay? Maybe I'll curve it a little bit more, but you don't have to. All right, from there, all the way to the edge of your page, you'll go off your page, draw a diagonal line. Curve your line so the wings look like a wing. Okay, so then after that, we're going to connect the body. Whoa, it's getting even more interesting. Okay, from there, curve another section and draw two sliver moon shapes. One, two, you can pull them up. <gasps> Mine is on a branch today. Where will your bird be? Mine is on this branch right here. Okay. Follow along for the next part at the middle. And draw a curved shape over top. Pull a curve down. And on the top of his beak, <gasps> Whoa, and all around him, 
we can add some more leaves. It could be scattered around everywhere. He is in the jungle, so the leaves are just the symbol of that's where we are with him. Your leaves don't have to look like mine at all. In fact, I wish that they wouldn't because that will show that you're putting your own personal touches into your illustration. And know that sometimes when we draw something, it doesn't look exactly how we planned. But the best part is you're trying, right? The best part is you're trying to stretch how to draw something. You're trying to do what you can to make it look really neat. So I have my toucan. And the coolest thing about him is that we're going to start adding some textures soon. So you can add a few more talents with your tool. You can draw some some lines that are all going the same direction. And in those spots on his top of his beak, you can add some dots if you want to. And you want to fill in with black the tip of the beak on the top section. And also try to do something on the bottom too. So right now, <gasps> We're going to have fun adding feather detail. We're going to enjoy coloring our toucan in. And if I were you, my friends, I would be very careful to make the beak stand out separately so it looks like part of our bird. It is there. We're going to have so much fun coloring in. I added a lot of leaf texture, so I wanted the bird to stand out. That's why I'm sort of scratching my tool, my drawing tool along the bird's body. That way the bird is separate from the background. So I'm making a bold mark, a bold line. Okay, and if I were you, I would try to find a way to also make sure that the toucan's body is separate from is separate from the other background details. Adding some scribbles in for the tail feathers. Whoa! Big tail feathers coming out. And our finishing touches will be adding those colors. Toucans are super duper colorful, my friends. So if I were you, I would start by putting the brightest sections down first. For example, I might start with the wings and the beak or the body or this part that's been sort of really, really bright by his eyes. So I might blend some green and orange and get some really vibrant colors with whatever tool you have. Try to make the eye patch really bright and colorful. And then you can go and enjoy some darker colors for the body of your bird. Making this very bright area up top. And his beak will also be very bright. I want the beak to start bright. I'll choose yellow for the beginning portion. But I want to turn some sections of the beak turquoise green and blue. All of these other colors as well. So have fun enjoying what colors you'll end up blending in to make your toucan nice and bright on his beak as well as on his wings. The other portions of our toucan should stay a little bit darker and be muted down a little bit so you could use purple or navy or another color. But yeah, enjoy this process, my friends. When you see that I'm pressing pause on this video, I'm going to press play again soon and show you what other colors I've selected for my toucan illustration. I hope you have a lot of fun coloring in your bird and I cannot wait to see the masterpieces you make. So I'm pressing pause to keep coloring. When I press play again, we'll see um, the one that I finished up and then you can enjoy coloring yours some more. Okay, everybody. So I hope you've enjoyed illustrating those 
special birds the toucan and I'm also excited to see how you choose to fill the background of your illustration because remember you can create a design that just keeps on happening in the background like for example I'm starting with this leaf um, these different jungle leaves and when I begin those, they might look a little messy, but then I'll start to clean them up with multiple layers and see how I can add more textures in the background. So I want you to think, how can you make it look like a jungle behind your toucan? And you can choose to draw a landscape if that's what you prefer, or if you want to draw something more free and fun like me, you can also choose a theme to draw repeated leaves or different plants or flowers or things that grow. So I hope that you see that you really have lots of choice in this project. And one of the final things I highly recommend doing is also coloring the sky and the branch that the bird is perched on if you had a branch. Okay, so those are some finishing touches to consider to make your drawing really stand out. Okay, everybody. So I have completed my toucan so you can be inspired. I chose a sunset orange for my background and I really am looking forward to checking in with you all to see what masterpieces you create. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and we can see your creations very soon.